Hello and welcome back to Banking and Plays Europa Universalis 4 with the third room expansion. We're back with Russian expansion. And in today's episode, we are back to trying to remove the kebab. Fall starting with the uh, odd 30 stack, just kind of marching through the step. I don't know what he's doing over there. He came up while they were at war to Baristan, then got kind of exiled behind the lines. Meanwhile, our siege of Constantinia is going very well. But nothing particularly too exciting. Let's just keep watching this. He's taking decent attrition. Movement locked. Rebels across the border, the Guzamukians. Let's give him a leader. Make my heir a leader. Eh, let's check out our, uh, our estates. If I give him a leader, the, the boyars will be too high. Grenet Monopoly charters, they'll have higher loyalty. They'll give me development cost. Yay. You... Lose loyalty. I could call a diet, but that'll gain influence again. 20 influence. 88 is not a good number. So instead, I could just keep sacrificing my military points for a shitty, uh, shitty general. Oh well. We got one force here, the army of the Ural with the army of Kazakh. The no guy rebels. Ah, come back and fight. We'll figure out what the hell this guy's doing. Eventually, there's not really anything to fight up here. Let's kind of break off and go fight the particularists now. We need to take care of our own before we can worry about the Ottomans. Battles with them are going fine. Still haven't seen any of the Ottoman forces on the actual Ottoman territory. Battle there is one. They're moving. They just keep moving north. Let's go fight the particularists. Where the hell is he going? Uh, I guess he's trying to make it through my line, but I don't really have... I don't have any of my forts here. I used to have a fort in Nitsinovgorod, but I took it out because it didn't really need it. My army's on my walls. Let's head up. You can actually have the leader there. This guy? Is this the guy the leader? Army of the Caucus, uh, Farron Yermark. Uh, that, yeah. Make him go ahead of the army. Go take out those particularists. We'll figure out what the hell this guy's doing eventually, but if he wants to take attrition, he can take attrition. I don't care about that. Now, the Ottomans could use their fleets to naval invade me. We, uh, Shervan wishes to send in their troops. I mean, I don't really want them. Again. I'm just going to let my allies take this side of the war. Ah, Constantinia has fallen. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Let's give it to Kiev, because Kiev is a march, and that'll give it more bonuses. Okay, send the cannons back. One cannon for army, please. So I can't cross the strait because it's being blocked by their navy. And I don't want to really cross the strait because they could block me off with their navy. So we're kind of done here. They could always come back, but I could always reinforce. Show what be what's going on. Going to the north. If I see them heading anywhere, I can just turn on forts. Speaking of which, let's turn on this fort and this fort and Novgorod. Turn on all the important forts. Hey, the particulars are actually in their territory. They will arrive in Arkski. Let's go there then. Take everything they've taken. Ah, Crimea. We'll be able to fight them off. Then we won't have to worry about these damn rebellions. We can focus full time on the Otterderps. 22 stack armies. Not the best, not the worst. Our allies can just take care of the sieging in this area. I have full confidence in them. Send these armies over to the Caucasus. As this is exactly where I would like them to cross over. The Manch. Army of Poland can stay by. They can meet up with the army of the Caucasus. Aha! Head back. Where are you going? Battle of the Crimea. Convergence successful. The heretics are dead. They're gone. Boom. Running out of things we can successfully convert. Let's have our armies 
Instead of actually going to the caucus, let's actually meet them up in Moscow. I have no idea what they're doing. Get a large army together. The armies of the east couldn't stop him from walking by, but where is he going? He just keeps going north. What is he doing? Fighting the particularists off. Using my... Yeah, using my subject to siege. It's fine. Although I did give them the good general. Excellent. Something happened. Wait, was that a... Well, I Maya's done. Good. Okay. Let's push east. I don't know what this does for me. Let us push east relentlessly. In case there's something else I need to do, let's actually send someone here too. Hey, split my army. Have another one go there. Because I need to start working on this coast. I got about 27 years to finish that up. You move up. Hey, you should take a leader. You should take that good leader I was talking about, Yerofan. Head back with the rest of the forces. Try to figure out what the hell is going on here. Hey, Kiev found a two stack. That's worth my time. I could stack web that. Uh, which of these are... Okay, you can go to Palatsk. Uh, anything with a fort can go to Palatsk instead of Kiev. Anything with forts. Kosovo. Nope. 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 You? Nope. Except for this, that might be it. The Ottomans are actually pretty fed up. If I can beat them in a good fight. Except they seem to be sieging my... <laughs> sieging the north of Russia! Why? Why are they up there? Why are you closing your doors? So we'll move in all the armies together. At the moment, we can have the army of the Ukraine take point. It's it's going to get rough up there. Attrition's going to be pretty rough. So follow in formation. Good spread of things. Good spread. Army Russia is occupied somewhere. Good. Send them into. If I could send the majority of the Russian army to go deal with them, I would love to. Ah, looks like we took care of that little force. Now we can just walk back to our defensive position. Let's actually go a step back from Constantinia in case they come across. Uh, which would be better, defending the strait or allowing them to take there and then jumping on them for a defensive attack? Holding the defensive first or gauging their fighting capability before attacking? Which one would be better? Okay, they're there. You with the good general. Becky with the good general. Move in. Uh, go to Velsk. Go to Beluzero. It's not the first time I've fought in this area, but you're cornering yourself, Otto Derps. And you're supposed to be a careful general. What is careful about this? Ruthless and careful. Oh, don't let him get away. Don't you do it. Don't you do it. Actually, if I go here, and if I go here, if I go there to there, we're blocked. We've blocked him in. There's nowhere for him to escape. His only hope is to fight out. Oh. We have someone moving straight in. 18th of February. Hey, I'm fine with that. 18th of February. 11th of February. 17th, 17th. 12th of February to move in there. 21st of February. Let's give you, then, the good general. Ah, he's in technically enemy territory. Let's break off a one unit to siege. So 11th of February, we're going to send in with a smaller force. He's going to have to hold out until 17th. And then sometime in 20th. Yeah. Ottomans, Ottomans, Ottomans. Why? Why you do this to yourselves? He is going to Onega, and we can... Well, let's kill him. Come on, before the end of the month, let's do it. The 30th of March, we can do this. Come on. We can be there before him. Come on. 
It's gonna get a little bit. No, stack wipe. Mm. Stack wipe, 30,000 Ottomans. Okay, Army of the Baltic. We need to get ready for our invasion of the rest of the Ottoman territory. Let's move in. Imperial Army. Co Army of the Caucasus, go to your own station in Ostrakhan. And I believe this was your force. Take that back. Army of the Ural. Move in the center. Army of the Caucasus, who's left? We've got the Army of Crimea. Actually, I move back to your decession, your place and Army of the Ukraine, you're pretty weak. Head back to your own territory in Poltava area, I guess. Army of Poland still holding strong. All right, let it play again. That was devastating. We take out like half of their army in that one attack. Kiev is entirely blockaded, but that's okay. We're not going to be able to get Tunis out of this. Hey, we can invest in technology. Yeah, states. I would like some states. Um, what's the best? Crimea? Crimea with 33 is the best, yes. And then East Dnepr with 24. Lower Don, no. East Dnepr? Uh, Dnepr? Good positioning. And the Lower Don. Or Astrakhansk. I think I'll go Astrakhan. Oh, Astrakhan. It's up in the north. No, it's 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 this one. Come on. Nope. No, no, Astrakhan. No, that's Arx English. Okay. Yerstan. Zip. Something. Azaz. Lower Don. Yes, please. Now we got a bunch of stuff to core. We can't really do it. Look, man, enough. Not help. It's not going towards our overextension, so that we can do that whenever. Now the amount of attrition I'm going to face up here is not good. It's not good at all. But our troops are going to split apart for some good time. Hmm. Still, it was worth it to get that stack wipe. They've lost sixty thousand troops. They've actually lost more to attrition than we have. I find that funny. Now what do we hope to get out of this? We are hoping for this, this, this to go to them. And really? I can't? Really? I can't give uh, Valakia some land? I, I gave him some land. Valakia is owning Verdun. It's because you don't want it. Well, if he doesn't want it, how am I supposed to give it to him? Looks like Wallachia doesn't actually care either way. I could just take the peace deal. Crimea, Ottomans, Bukhara, and Hungary. That's kind of all I want. What about... <laughs> could I release the Byzantium? I could not. Aw, damn. Take Silvestre for myself. I don't have a core on it. I don't have claims. Cancel subjects. Ooh, no. Offer tribute. No, thank you. What about a war reps? A war reps would be very nice because I have a feeling they make a lot of money. They also give us plenty of power projection. If I can take this down here. If not, then we have our second objective where we use our armies to invade the Caucasus. Although, we're, we're still good on manpower. Gain a core province. I don't want to take any provinces for myself because I don't have any admin points. I just took tech. Hmm. Tabaristan is being torn apart by just, uh, let's see. Particularists. Secessionists. Separatists. And I think I saw some peasants in there too. Put that army back together. The army would be led in by the army of the Baltic. Set in our number one guy, a number one boy. Hmm. It's not a bad idea. I mean, you're already my ally. You're not in good. 
Forward to glory, my friends. Forward to glory. Go to Trebizond. Go to Yerevan. You actually have to go to Telvis. You go in support of the Trebizondes. You go in support of the Amertes. One at a time, please. One at a time. Conversion successful. I think we're out of places we can convert. Nope, we got one more. Ghosts have been raided by the knights. God damn it, knights. Why you do this to me? Good spread, good spread. I don't think the Ottomans were expecting that. Oh, and we've taken one more fort down here. Let's give it to Palatsk. Extra bonus. That actually reminds me. I have so many forts on that don't need to be on. They're not coming up here anytime soon. Wish there was a mothball all that aren't necessary, but there's not. You're not necessary anymore. We're good. We're good. So this might be spreading too thin, but I think it's okay. Hmm. This... Oh. God dang it, nice. Send some more supports. Army of the Ukraine might even want to be in there. He is the cannoneer for combat ability. I think he has the best siege we got. One siege, two siege. Yeah, might as well get him down here. Yeah, they want out. They just want out. <laughs> okay. War they into war reps, and they're into giving me money. Oh, I've been pushing caps lock. Let's, let's see how much we can take. We can make 400 ducats, take over the Moldavia region, and take war reps for 10 years. I like that idea. Thank you. War is over. They, We were on the attacking side, and we still lost less. Ottomans, you are not doing too hot. Clamps fabricated. All right. You stay where you are. Army of Poland, I believe. Let's go to Smolensk. Closest thing we have to Poland. Army of the Baltic. Head back to Pskov. Army of the Caucasus. Head back to Astrakhan. Imperial Russian Army. Head back to the motherland. Army of the Ural. Head back to the Ural Mountains. That was a beautiful attack in Kiev Strong. Even has, even has Bessarabia, which is now a beautiful little border with the Ottomans. Unhappiness among the peasantry. We rule them as we see fit, or try to improve the situation. Well, we got the money for it. Right, we got the money for it. Now, Wallachia is not too happy with us, I would assume. But they, they do not accept Russian economic base to Wallachia and distance between borders. Hmm. No possible al rivals. Hmm. That was basically all I needed you for, though. So, uh, be gone. And you can actually transfer your trade power to me. I'd like that. These guys, my ships. You. No, don't make a new thing. Mission settings, good. Go back to protecting trade in the Crimea. Okay, I'm going to need a month to see what our actual income is now. Too many diplomatic relations. Palats, Kazakh, uh, Livonia, Sweden. Yeah, I guess we just have too much. Leaving Vassal, Palats, Kiev, Livonia. Yeah, there's nothing in there that we don't have. Okay. Nothing in there that we don't want. Army of the Crimea. Head back to Crimea. We're making seven ducats a month now at full maintenance. Do we have, and we have great horde separatists on the rise. What province? Akarsk. Well, you're in the region. Go over there. Hmm. Native uprising. Oh no. Still, that's fine. I think we need to control the entirety of the Siberian coast to get the achievement. Let's go into military and mothball all forts. We don't need to prove ourselves anymore. 
Kiev strong, Palat strong, Kazakh strong, Livonia strong. Ooh, Crimea though. <laughs> non processor movement. Uh, losing inflation though. I think we'd. We did go secular route, so how about support the movement? Lose Patriarch Authority, lose our. Some inflation. We're still gaining inflation though. Dang gold mines. We keep running into gold mines. Who are you? The Army of the Baltic. Go back to the Baltic. What are you doing? I'm at the Caucasus. Unrest here is still pretty high. Oh, geez. Oh, God, no. So let's let's think about this. Holy Roman Empire is now... Yeah, they now have... Aragon is the Holy Roman Empire, the controller of Castile, the controller of Napoli, of Aragonese Italy, and Castile is the controller of quite a lot of land in the empire, as well as some territory on this coast. They did not go... They didn't know colonial, though, so they only have territory in Europe. Oh, well, we'll have to deal with stuff like that in the next episode. I'll see you guys then. Bye-bye!